In his statement on Friday, President Obama talked about unspecified costs if there was any further intervention. And we understand from the 90-minute phone call uh, yesterday from the Oval Office between the President and Vladimir Putin that he talked specifically said that the U.S. is suspending its involvement in preparatory talks for the Sochi uh, economic G8 summit this summer. Is any of that going to get Putin's attention? Not even a little bit. There, if any of that would have gotten his attention, he would have been there in the first place. So this is not an isolated incident. If you, they're, they're expanding their border. They, Russia, in the South Ossetia, has moved out its border some 11 kilometers in Georgia. Nobody said a word. Uh, this is direct relation to what's happened in Syria, the negotiations there. They thought they did well. They're holding their position. So if you look at a series of events, Russia believes that there is nothing going to stop them, which is why they've been so aggressive uh, in Crimea. There is not a lot of options on the table. And candidly, and I'm a fairly hawkish guy, sending more naval forces to operate in the Black Sea is really not a very good idea, given that we know that that day has long passed. Uh, and unless you're intending to use them, I wouldn't send them. And so you've got now only economic options through the EU. And I would use those. And we shouldn't let the Ukraine get the EU and the United States into a civil war uh, in the Ukraine, but there are lots of really good options leading up to that. And I would just cancel uh, in, in Sochi. I wouldn't talk about the planning session. I would cancel it, and I would go into a very aggressive posture on how we help the Ukraine financially. If they can get through their financial troubles, they could survive. Okay, let's, let's sort of talk big picture. How do you think President Obama has been handling relations with Russia versus how Vladimir Putin has been handling relations with the United States? Well, I think Putin is playing chess, and I think we're playing marbles. And I don't think it's even close. So if you look at the nuclear negotiations, we got our fannies handed to us. They took tactical nukes out of the equation. Huge mistake, especially for our allies in the, in the Baltics. Uh, when you move down the list uh, in, in uh, uh, Syria, the Russians got everything that they needed, they believed they needed in Syria. And so we've, they've, they've been running circles around us, and I think it's the, really the naive position on, our, on, on the National Security Council and the President's advisors that if we just keep giving things to Russia, they'll finally wake up and say, boy, the United States isn't all that bad. That is completely missing the motivations of why Russia does what Russia does. Uh, and again, they have an interest in expanding their buffer zones by influence. I don't think by Russian occupation, but by influence in cases like the Crimea, I think Moldova next, and other places, that it's in their interest to continue to push out that buffer zone. And by the way, the, the big one that 